Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to look at this uh, 1950s era Smith Corona Super Silent. It doesn't have any drawband tension, and the drawband is still good. It's right here. I actually already untangled it. It was off and tangled all around the mainspring down here. I've got it out and it's still still good. Still got nuts and both ends connected. Feels pretty pliable, so we're gonna say that's good. I'm just gonna set it aside here. The problem is the mainspring right here. It is doesn't want to turn. It's it's pretty stiff when I do get it to turn, so well there it goes, see? Had a little movement by itself under a spring tension, but I had one, I don't know, recently that also was stuck bad. Um, I ended up just flushing it while I was in the machine, but this one, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. There's these two screws right here. I'm going to take it out of the machine and, and rework it. Just, just so we can do that. Now, I realize already that that first screw right there is longer than that screw. Neither one can protrude through the uh, carrier rail there because it interferes with something. So see that one screw is shorter and one screw is a little longer. So if you do this, make sure you're aware of that. Of course, it's kind of hard to put in the short screw in there. It won't actually grab the thread. So this thing will pivot right out of here, I think. Let's get it. Let's see if we can get it. Pivot to, there we go. So this comes right on out. Let's put this on the bench and uh, get something dirty rag here. I can get this thing dirty. That's what that's what it needs. I think it needs to just be. I think it's just stuck from the old oil right in the shaft. It just doesn't want to turn freely. So, I'm going to use some lacquer center. And oh, well, there it goes. Look at that. Just, it just popped. Just a little bit of degreaser lacquer center right there. And it took off. That's funny. That's pretty funny. Alright, let's just soak this thing up a little bit. And and turn it. I'm gonna clean this off a little bit. That was pretty funny, actually. Pretty funny sometimes. I saw some grungy oil come out of there. Just let that spray through right there. Alright, this should do it. Just want to clean it up. Let's see if we can wind it up here. So if it's in the machine like this, we want it to should tighten up this direction here like this. Which it is. And then you can let it go. So that's working. It just needs to be need to be clean, degreased, the old oil in there. Got coagulated and uh went to allow it to uh got gummed up. So I think this is Ready, let's see if it goes in a machine like this. 
I would tighten up this way here. So I'm going to turn it quite a bit here. I'm going to try to flush it like that. And let's put some let's put some red oil in here. So I'm going to put it right into the main spring hole right there. A little bit back there, a little bit down the shaft, and of course some on this piece right here. Wind it a little more maybe. And I'll let it spin out. So I think we're good. I'm gonna spray it with a little air, make sure everything is moved around in there properly and this is good to go. Alright, put this back in. We didn't need to disassemble it any further to make it work. So this piece will just stick back in there. There we are, pretty straightforward. That's underneath that bracket and let's get that first screw in there. And that's the short one. Right. right there. It's lined up right. Let's see, right about there. Let's see if we can get this to start. Just going to connect that that means the uh, uh, draw band up here in just a second okay so that screw started let's get the other one in position there and once you go right in there there we go stronger screwdriver make sure these are very tight very tight very tight Okay, so that's, that's all feeling good. You can actually see it. We've got a little side-to-side -side movement, which it didn't even have before. So, the way I just do these is I'm going to load it. I'm going to make sure I have a tool here, especially a human stats here somewhere. Right here. One of these so I can grab the... Uh, the draw band and be prepared to put that in the place. So I'm going to stick that. I'm just going to leave it here. Like that. What I need to do is wind this up. So I'm going to just put my finger under here and let's see it winds this direction. So that way it pulls that way. So I'm going to stick my finger under this and wind it manually here with just my fingers. Oops, slipped a little bit. It's kind of tricky to do this way, but at least you get some uh, pre-wind on it. So let's do another round here, see if we can get it around another turn. It's getting a little difficult to do. I think I can get it one more turn here. There it is. Let's drop the uh, let's drop this cord down into there where it belongs. Oops, it's slipping on me. So there we go, right in there. Release some of the tension. And oops. There we go. Wasn't was not lined up here. It's catching something down. It's not quite lined up here. So 
Alright, I think this is going to have to come off. I think it's on the other side of the escapement way in there. It's it's not right. This this cord has got a wrong wrong angle. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to loosen this up here manually. Take it out and do it again, maybe. Because this is not. stuck on the other side of the uh, escapement in there. Okay, I'm going to release that tension and let's see if I can deal with this. Okay, there we go. So now the cord is, it was hanging up on the escapement in there, so now it's in a better position. Again, I'm just gonna spin this this direction a couple turns at least. There's one. There's two. Let's see if we can get a third one in here. It's getting a little difficult once to slip my finger here. Come on, one more turn. There we go. Now let's try this again. Let's stick this in there. And relieve the tension. Come on, there we go. Okay, now it's straight. It's straight. You can see the string is straight. Straight down this the carrier in here and we should be able to at least run it there we go so it's, it's not tight enough so the way we tighten these is pretty simple I've done this with a few cameras so you got to move this little tab right here going to allow this rocker to move and we can just I almost forgot how to do this what you do is push this push this with a tool let's find something to push it with here we go this will work and uh, there we go see it just clicks this little rocker will move, so you can just do this one by one. We'll do maybe equivalent of another two turns. So the mainspring probably has five full turns. Too tight sometimes it causes skipping if it's too loose of course it doesn't have any fast action so yeah it feels pretty good right there yeah I think we'll just leave it like that come back in here and reposition this piece back up so it doesn't let the uh, move accidentally, and that procedure is ready to go. All right, another mainspring draw band. These are pretty pretty simple uh, compared to a lot of machines. So, Phoenix typewriter, good day. <laughs>